Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is a video that I was talking about that I really wanted to make where I was going to talk about wallflowers and oils but mainly teach you how to turn a wallflower into an oil. No one specifically really asked about making this video. It was just something on my agenda when I started these videos that I was like, I really want to make this video because I haven't done my research to see if anyone else has done it. I probably should have, but when I taught myself how to do this, like I was so excited about it and I just in many ways it has really paid off like literally I've saved money doing it I have definitely have more fragrances doing it and I definitely like for the room that I was talking about in my last video that's a huge open space that I have to try to fill you know candles and stuff don't really cut it for that specific space this is like the perfect go-to remedy for it now oils I'm a huge fan of just because they're a very quick simple way to get a room smelling good um, it's really up to the person you know Candles are obviously a special kind of an ambiance about them. There's the flames in a dark room. It's just kind of romantic, very comforting. There's just something very home about it. I don't knock that one bit whatsoever. I'm a huge candle collector as it is. But I do love oils like if I'm cleaning, if I've got people coming over and I just, you know, want it to smell good. This is kind of my go-to thing. Plus, I kind of save that way because I don't fly through candles as quickly and I don't, you know, I can burn these up pretty quick and they're not really as expensive so it's really I get a better variety with it so to kind of start I'll talk about the burners um, because in my home that big open space I have two at a time be it tarts or oils um, I just have two burners I put them on opposite ends of the room and just let them go and it's been wonderful so sadly all my like smaller tabletop tea light burners I realized I had packed up so I just kind of grabbed this one from Yankee it's you know, it could be used for tarts or for technically oils, but I just pulled it out to show you. Most people are familiar with them. Either they have hanging ones or ones that just sit on a type of stand. Basic concept, your oils go in here, or tarts, and you put a tea light in, the warmth, you know, heats it up and it steams out your fragrance for you. And the other type is the electric burners, which is my go-to thing because I go through tea lights like crazy if I do it otherwise, and this way I can burn them for until the oils are just gone. This specific one is designed for like mixology so you put like your just a main one in here and this is designed for this section to put like a second one to kind of mix two different things. So I don't really do that very often but it is an option like if I ever did want to do it without actually mixing them physically together. But yeah electric ones are definitely my go-to one especially if you want to save on going burning through tea light after tea light but it's up to you. Some people love the tea light because it is kind of the remedy of having that flame ambiance in there and still having a, a wow fragrance going on. And so to kind of go over both the wallflowers and the oils, and uh, Yankee Candle is the same thing, um, down to the size and pretty much to the price and to the look of them as well. Um, the oils, you know, used to be $7.50 and they were pretty good and they ran them on pretty decent sales. They've marked them this year down to $5, and I feel like they've watered them down. Like, they don't really last very long. They kind of lose their luster pretty quickly, and they're just not really as good as they used to be. But, um, you know, I still have a few 750 ones that are still hanging around left over, but I literally have gotten to where I really don't buy oils at all anymore because all I do is I buy wallflowers, and that's what I do. So for starters, there's you know three different reasons why I pick wallflowers over oils number one is the size the oils are 0.33 fluid ounces the wallflowers are 0.8 fluid ounces so already you're getting a little bit more than double of the amount you know for starters of just the container itself you're already getting a little more than double and as for the pricing goes you know the oils are five dollars each period like flat out they don't run them on sales anymore Wallflowers almost always are six for $24. And like I mentioned in my last video, if you've seen it, what I do with a survey coupon is I go get eight for $32, save my $10. So for $22, I get eight wallflowers. So for 20 bucks, you know, $20, $20 plus two, I get eight wallflowers versus if I were to spend 20 bucks on the oils, it would be 20 bucks. So, okay, we already have double in the amount of containers and then we have double of amount of fluid ounces. So that's already like kind of a win-win for me. Well, then you get down to choices, fragrance choices. 
And wallflowers have basically every fragrance that they make if they make it in home fragrance. Like, if it's a candle, like, there is a wallflower to match. Oils, they don't. You know, if you have a line that has, say, like, ten different scents in it, you might have four, maybe five if they're feeling frisky with it. Oils to pick from, wallflowers, you'll have, like, ten out of ten. Maybe nine if there's just one that, for some reason, they didn't make it. So, yeah. So, check it out, guys. I mean, that's... <laughs> You know, let's re-highlight that. You have double the amount of fluid ounces, double the amount of product, and you have more double the amount of choices. So this is just kind of my go-to cheat. You certainly don't have to do this. I'm not trying to just bash oils because they are what started me in my home fragrance journey. Like, they have been always what I've used to really get started until I started really digging the candles a lot more. But yeah, so... I'm not trying to discourage anybody from purchasing them because I still do appreciate them. I've just kind of evolved, I guess is the way I'm going to put it, because I've looked at it as I've saved so much more money. I get a lot more different fragrances, but I mean, either way, I'm still pumping money into that company and I'm still buying fragrances. Don't get me wrong. It's just, to me, this is just kind of the smarter deal looking at it from my point of view. And with Yankee, I do the same thing. They have a type of wallflower. It's shaped differently, but, you know, I do the same thing. I'll pull the little wick out, and um, I even take their reed diffusers. If sometimes if I can find one in a reed diffuser but not another one, I'll just burn it like an oil. I mean, anything that's like an oil, I will sling it in a burner, you know, basically. And so what I was going to do is this is one that still has the sponge kind of tip still in there. And at the very bottom, you can see, like, kind of a... Um, little tip, little silver, th that's a little nail that's in there. And you, this might not be easy to see, you can kind of see it coming out of the other side. Like that's kind of what we're going to be dealing with. This is one that I've already pulled that out. So this is what I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do. So stay tuned for sure if this is what you want to learn to do. So I guess first things first, just get rid of that. And I've already peeled my plastic off of here. And as you can see, I'm just going to use like any type of pliers will work. Channel locks could work. And I would definitely hold this over something. I, I wouldn't really say a towel, but, you know, paper plate or something, just in case you have any spilling. And also, if you do get it spilled on your hands, it's going to be very strong. Like, it's going to be a very strong scent that's harder to wash off. So if you don't really dig that, I would definitely recommend at least wearing some type of gloves, like latex gloves, if you just don't want to have it smell like that for a little while. So, yeah. Let me move my chair over here so I can make sure. So I'm unscrewing the cap off of here. And I find it so weird that wallflowers have always been so backwards, like they're counterclockwise. All right, so I've got my cap unscrewed. I'm just going to take my little pliers, and I'm just going to pull at the base here. I guess I'll scoot this up just since I'll be closer to the camera. But as you can tell, I'm just grabbing a hold of this. I'm just squeezing hold of that tight as I can got a firm grip on the wallflower and I'm just going to start pulling and I'm just going to pull it out a little bit go back you can actually I don't know if you can hear it on the camera but there, it makes like a little crunch sound the little nail is just pulling out and as weird as it may sound I've never had it drop and sink it always comes out with the applicator so just keep working at it I mean it's going to come out very easily I just pull kind of curl Pull, kind of curl, and oh man, this smells so good. This is the Parasamora one, and I really love this. So yeah, and I'm just pulling this right on out. And looky there. Voila. Oops. So yeah, and the funny thing is, is I have like no idea. Oh, the nail's actually kind of stuck like in the little hole there. But it's not going to matter because this is just simply going to have like a, you can kind of see the nails stuck in there but um if I really cared I could just try to get in here and get after it but it's really not necessary I mean it's I'm just going to use these to pour with so yeah he's wedged in there pretty good well either way it's not going to really matter most of the time they come out with a sponge you know or they might kind of hang up in there but it's like I said it's not going to matter because it's now wide open at the top there's no kind of filter in here anymore so if you drop it or tip it over, like, there's nothing that's going to catch it until you put your cat back on. So it is literally just a hole in a bulb that's, you know, that's all that it is. So, yeah. I have pulled it out of here, and now it is free to burn like an oil. It is 
beyond stronger than the fragrance oils are and it's you know like I've said you oh, I can see I forgot I keep doing it the other way you know it's double the amount you get double for your money and you have like double the choices to pick from so like I've said before this is just I'm not trying to like knock on the oils because I do still love them it's just I'm just trying to spread the word because I was so excited when I just kind of looked at it one day and said you know like I'm just going to pull that right on out and burn it like I do in oil. The only complaint I ever have about these is just their odd shape of trying to store them. Like, that's the only bad thing I could ever say about the wallflowers. So, yeah. And, oh, that is smelling so good. Like, I cannot wait to burn that one. I'm ready for the whole line to be out. But, yeah. So, uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, I'll definitely answer those. I'm think I pretty well covered everything and I hope maybe you guys uh, could give it a try maybe you'll learn something new let me know if you try it let me know how it goes I'd love to hear from you guys please rate please comment and subscribe again if you have questions feel free to ask and I will see you guys later thanks for stopping by bye